Hey guys, this is Carissa with Inky Fairy Designs and I'm back on the Ranger Ink blog for another tutorial and I'm excited about this one because I got to play in the new 6x6 Dina Wakely Media Journal, which is this journal right here. It is her first white journal, so the other journals have black covers. This one has a white cover and it is a 6x6. So it is the smallest journal and it has a watercolor paper inside it, which I am so excited about. So I decided that I wanted to use the scribble sticks to create my background today. And I am using cheddar and blushing to start my background. And um, I do end up pulling in a little bit of peacock later in the video. So I'm starting with um, one of the flat brushes from the uh, Dina Wakely four pack of brushes. And I'm just laying down some clean water to dampen up the pages and kind of create um, a little swatch of color in the middle of my page. So to do that, when the water is, or when the page is damp, I'm going to add color directly from the scribble stick. And you can see I use the flat end and I just use my damp brush to pick up color there as if it was like a paint palette. That's kind of how I think about this technique in particular. And then I'm gonna bring in cheddar. And you can see I didn't even wash my brush off or clean it off. I really wanted them to kind of just blend and move together. And I concentrate the color, the first color blushing, I went all the way across the page because that's kind of the main color. I love that color. And that was kind of the main color that I wanted on my page. Um, but I did want to bring a little bit of the cheddar. So I added that to about three areas just to draw the eye across the page. And then I decided that this is where I bring in the peacock color. And um, this is a cool color against the more warm tones of blushing and cheddar. And it really just kind of creates um, some contrast and uh, really makes all of the colors pop, um, adding this cool color against the warm colors. Now, all of these three colors come in set two of the scribble sticks if you're looking for which set to get these particular colors in. But you can use any colors that you have and just create this line of color right in the middle of the page. Um, I was really going for a journal page that embraced the white space because if you guys know me or you follow me, um, you can find me on my blog at Inky Fairy Designs or on Instagram at Inky Fairy Designs. You guys know that white space is not generally something that I work well with. Uh, I tend to fill up every last bit of it with color. And I was really just trying to challenge myself uh, while I played with this new journal and um, got a feel for how it handled watercolor. So to keep it very simple, I have this tag that I have pre-made um, using the gel press. So keep those extra pieces that you create or if you, um, you know, use anything, um, you can use those bits and pieces in future journal pages. So they're great to have on hand to uh, quickly finish a page. So I pulled out the Friends to the End stamp set. I love this little um, image here with the faces and it works really well because a lot of the black lines on this kind of but uh, hide the busyness of that tag so it's really nice um, you know you can still see a lot of that color through it but it also tones it way down I wanted to add the heart from the same stamp set onto my page I just felt like it needed a little bit of something so I'm going to stamp it across my page, starting in the lower left-hand corner. Then I'm going to go up on that same side to the upper right-hand. And then I'm going to take it all the way to the other side of the two-page spread and um, on the bottom again. So it kind of goes up or goes down, up, and down. Just kind of draws that eye across the page. Um, at this point, my colors have dried and uh, they faded a little bit as watercolors tend to do and the scribble sticks work very much um, in the same kind of realm of watercolors. So when they dry, they tend to lighten a little bit. So that's very easy to fix. 
or if you want to just add a little bit more dimension you can just deepen up those colors with another layer on top leave some of that lighter area showing through in a bit of in, in some of the areas to create that dimension and it just really adds another uh, level to the page and it just brightens up those colors I was able to get them much much brighter at this point and so I'm just using the same technique as I did before when I created the first layer and just um, taking that pigment directly from the scribble stick and adding it to my page and then I'll like rinse off my brush and kind of blend it more so it's not that harsh line that I first lay down and then I just kind of blend it out a little bit but still trying to stay in that middle area of the page like I said I'm trying to work with the white space and um, uh, it was really hard to do <laughs> but I think in the end it all comes together so I'm just going to continue to blend um, deepening up that blushing color because like I said that is my favorite uh, color right now um, I do love the peacock but that blushing color is really what kind of inspired this entire page. So I dry that. You can let it air dry or you can use your heat tool to dry those layers on this paper and it works great. Um, to add a little bit of journaling to my page, which you guys know I like to do, um, I'm just uh, creating this very funky uh, abstract lettering not lettering it's just handwriting um, but just accentuating the upper and lower um, like ascending letters and uh, just like really emphasizing those kind of distorts the words just enough that it's not exactly legible and I ended up turning my page upside down so that I could add that writing to the bottom um, but it's going to be upside down and that I just that also creates that level of abstract. So I'm taking out my black scribble stick and I don't know what happened to the footage here. I thought I was filming but all you missed was me adding the tags that I had stamped on. I fussy cut them out and added them to my page using the ultra thick gel medium because these pages are extremely textured. That's one of the things I absolutely love about this journal. It's 100% cotton cold press paper so it's really bumpy and textured and beautiful and with a heavy cardstock tag like this the ultra thick gel medium was the perfect thing to use to really get that to stick down onto the page and I had to like really stick it down with like hold my hands down for a little bit put some stamp blocks on it to really get it to adhere and then just left it overnight and they were perfect in the morning so I'm adding that scribble stick, that black scribble stick around the edges just to um, kind of uh, uh, pop them out from the background, um, give them a little bit of dimension. And uh, I really love the way the scribble sticks move on this paper. Um, they just really kind of blend out and uh, activate really well with the watercolor or with the water and um, it's really really fun I'm excited to uh, experiment more with the scribble sticks in this this journal I think uh, for me personally I will probably use it more for watercoloring just because that's a medium that I really really love that's why I really love the scribble sticks to create those really loose um, backgrounds but you could create the same effect with acrylic paints if you water them down so now I'm just adding some words from the sticker sheet the um, Tim Holtz uh, stickers <laughs> clippings I think and um, just adding those to the tag kind of figuring out where I want them to be positioned and then I do use the regular gel medium I like to do that even though they're adhesive you know there's a lot of texture on this tag from the acrylic paint and then the stamping and so I like to add some gel medium down uh, underneath the sticker and then over top the sticker and um, it makes it a little bit slick and they kind of move around a little bit but if you just hold it in place for a little bit they will start to bond to the tag or your journal page and then it um, protects them and it really makes them permanent to your page you don't have to worry about that adhesive coming off and losing you know what could be like for me this is 
um, kind of like the, the title of this spread. So now I'm going to water down some acrylic paint. This is the black acrylic paint. And um, I'm just going to water it down, like I said, the white space. I just was like, it needed something. It needed something, something, but I didn't want to fill it up. I thought about adding some um, washes of water just to like the edges or maybe framing it out with the journaling pen. But then I thought, no, black splatters, that is the thing. That is always what, if I don't know how to finish a page or uh, it's missing something, a little bit of contrast with some black splatters or white if I have a really dark page. Um, usually does the trick so once that gel medium dries I can go over top of it with my food ball journaling pen which is my go-to journaling pen and just kind of outline it frame those words stickers and it really kind of blends it into those tags so that pretty much wraps up this art journal page I hope you enjoyed it you can see in this close up all of that texture that I'm talking about in these cotton pages of this journal. They're amazing. I am loving everything that I see other artists doing in it. And I hope you were inspired by this page from me. So thank you again to Ranger for inviting me back to share with you another tutorial. And you can find me on social media, Anki Fairy Designs. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or give Ranger Inc. a thumbs up if you're watching this on their YouTube channel. And hop over to my YouTube channel and follow me over there if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Until next time, stay inspired, be creative, and share that with others. Bye.